Hi and welcome to another episode. And what we've got here is is a Carnivore 2. Works on the MSX, blah, 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 blah. I happen to use it on a 2 Plus. I've spoken about this thing a few years back now, I think it is. It works great. I love it to bits. It gives you a possibility of loading from a CF card, uh, extra memory, fancy different audio that your MSX might not have. But mine didn't come with an audio jack. But wait a minute, there's an audio jack. I know. I installed it because I wanted it for a PPI and a PSG, which is a programmable, a programmable peripheral interface or a programmable sound generator. As you can see, I have got it installed. That's because I've already done it. To find out how I've done it, check out after the following sponsors. Way, hey, it's PCB Way. And it's their fifth PCB design contest, which they're running along with Mouser Electronics. They'd like you to design something so that people can have some great things to play around with. Now the contest runs from the 1st of September all the way up until the 31st of December. And then they'll have a check of the different designs that they've had sent in over the whole of January 2023. And then they'll announce the winner on the 6th of February. Now the themes can be next generation hardware, earth friendly projects, or it's a free thing, do anything that you want. The prizes, the third prize winners will be $500 cash, $50 coupon, and an Adreno Mega 2560. There's three of those winners. The second prize will be that there's two winners, but they'll be able to win $1,000 cash, $100 coupon, and a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B with two gigabytes. And the first prize winner will win $1,500 $200 coupon and a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B with 4 gigabytes of memory. Then there'll be a popular design prize which will be a $100 cash, $20 coupon and a $10 3D printing coupon and a multimeter. And just for entering you'll get a Raspberry Pi Pico. Don't forget to look in the description down below so you can find the links to the rules and the TEDCs. Best of luck! So first things first, let's open it up. So there's two screws on the back. Autofocus is going crazy. There we go. That's, that's the, the screws for it. Let's move it just there. Come on, you can see the screws there. There we go. Open it up. And there's the PCB. Now, as we can see, the case together is actually on this side. So it's actually on the right hand side. So it was on the front left. Yes, I had it the right way around. Um, I think the best thing to do is actually solder this on first so that I know where to start making a hole. So. I have seen different makers either put it on this way around or put it where the actual uh, silk screen has it. And I'm going to do it that way around since the silk screen's there saying it do that way around. I'm going to do that. So that's simple, really. Just need to buy one that has the matching pins. So four at the bottom, one in the middle because it's a stereo jack. Um, so let's flip it over. Get it in a nice place of where it's, it's staying. And let's get the soldering iron all revved up and raring to go. Okay, so a little bit of flux. Not a lot, just enough to coat those five pins. And then some solder. And let's see if I can do this without burning myself. Shall I zoom in a little bit more? Let's zoom in a little bit more. Dun dun dun. Of course it's not central anymore, just to be awkward. And let's try to make it somewhat central. Go. 
Okay, since it's only five pins, I am going to bore you to death with doing this. I hope everyone's past few months have been fine. Mine have been awkward, to say the least. I know I've said that a few times. Past few videos, but that's the way it's been. Right, made it a bit hotter. My soldering iron had a bit of a, a hiccup when I first turned it on. It gave me the SE error. And then I turned it off and turned it back on again and it was fine. It may well be that uh, I need to actually change this bit. Get a new one. I've had it for a few years now, so I wouldn't be surprised it's uh, complaining of old age. Just like I am. <laughs> right, let's be very careful now because there's some SMD parts here. I don't want to end up doing it all wrong. Now. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. I think I'm going to have to buy some magnifying glass type headset thing. I have already got one, but it's a bit bulky. Um, I haven't been using it. But I've noticed over the past few months my eyesight is slowly but surely getting worse and worse mainly because of my old age and I never get to see the horizon too often so I'm not getting to see long distances right let's hope that's it I'll just redo that one just a little bit because I think there's probably plenty of um, solder on here Yeah, that's better on that one. That's better on that one. It seems that they can be bridged. I'm not too sure if they should be, actually. Yeah, I think they should be, going by where the lines are for them. So that's that. Now on to the interesting part. And making a hole in the plastic. That's going to be fun because it should be that way around. So somewhere, where is it? Let's try to make that a little bit less peaky, shall we? bit high up that, that shouldn't be that high up. Turn it back on again, see? I'm saying I could do with... Go away. I think I could do with some glasses, I think. Time just to admit, I need them. No shame in wearing glasses. Right. As I say, let's get the plastic cut. So I need to find some fancy tools for that one so we've got those tools and now I just need to figure out how to fit this in here that way around I have to sort of assume it's going to fit it's going to be very close to the edge though isn't it you can see the way they've put it. Right. I have to say when it's there, trying to sit, I think it's going to be very, very flush. Um, on there. 
because the problem is it's not all the way at the front and it's not all the way at the back. And if it sits here, that's how it sits there. So there's a the thing. If I put the screws in. hold it in place a little bit right, like posts right right so it's gonna sit so I've got an idea of where it's going to be on the left hand side there it's gonna be a bit difficult to do in the realms of holding everything in place I think I better off matching it at the back than I am at the front. That wouldn't have fitted round the back. So I've got a pokey stick. Point punch, it's actually called, isn't it? So what I'm trying to do is figure out where the centre of this would be. Obviously it's going to be a little bit further forward than what this plastic is. Um, but what I need to do is give myself an idea of where I need to start. I'm just going to be resting against there. I put a, a dot, probably can't see it, but I have put a dot just there. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of the plastic on this side of the case first without this. PCB being here of course because I don't want to damage it and then what I'm going to do is line up again with the front part on um, because I've already punched a hole or made a bit of a hole there already so let's be careful with the screws and start now I'm going to mute through this because it's going to be too noisy for you to listen to, just in case you've got headphones on or anything like that. So I don't know why my camera's glitching out. That's not so good, but not a lot I can do about it. I've had problems with that before in the past. Hopefully that stops doing that. There's been an update to OBS. So we'll see. I'll come to realise, obviously, where I've put the point before is going to be inside the case so there's a bit of a lip and we know that we need to go a little bit more to the left in this particular case a bit more forward if I do it this way around but what I'm going to do is screw the case back together again and try to do it all in one go I'm feeling brave today Screwing the case together as if I've got the PCB inside. So pull the case apart a little bit. I can see the pin point that I've done. That's just in front of this little wedge of plastic. it again I can just about see it there it definitely is right, so a little bit further forward there we go we've got the pinpoint now I've got my trusty drill black and decker thing me jiggy um, nothing particularly too fancy I don't think Got the drill bit on. Um, I want to go. Obviously, this is a three and a half mil, but it's slightly wider. So I want to drill that, but I need something that is definitely the same size. But I'm going to start off the hole with that bit first. I don't want to touch that anymore because I'm going to end up creating um, static electricity because of using a drill. Fingers crossed.
Oh, I definitely have a hole now. As you saw maybe at one point, um, I completely forgot to hold this tight here because of course the screws are just down at the bottom. Physics. Anyway, um, I believe I'm aiming in the right direction. So, four mil is on the end anyway. I'm going to make a six mil hole so it means going to the next notch along so all the way up to here and that will give plenty of space for the um, three and a half mil jack that I'm using I believe that's what I'm going to be doing so again So, we've drilled that far in now, we'll unscrew it again and see how far we've got. After screwing it back together again, a little bit more drilling, a bit more drilling. Basically, don't do it where I did it, do it slightly further forward. Luckily, it doesn't look so bad, but move it slightly further forward. CF card, can I fit that in? Yes, there we go, CF card fits. So, I hope that was of some interest. Don't forget to look down in the description down below. So, you can click the Patreon links, you can click the Discord links. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell. All of that is very important. But as always, happy gaming.